آن در پارلمان اروپا با حضور رئیس جمهور برگزیده مقاومت فراخان اروپایی آمریکایی برای حفاظت از اشرف و ممنوعیت جابجایی در داخل عراق چهارم خرداد 1390 25 می 2011 So good afternoon to you all and be very welcome to to this meeting organized by friends of free Iran in the European Parliament to discuss on the humanitarian crisis in Ashraf Khan. It is a great honor for us uh, to host today at the European Parliament very distinguished American guests. I refer, of course, to General Wesley Clark, former NATO commander and presidential candidate, to Mr. Andrew Card, mm -hmm. that was President Bush Chief of Staff, our very good friend Bill Richardson, where is Bill? Um, former Governor of New Mexico, former Secretary of Energy and U.S. Ambassador in the United Nations, Ambassador Del Daly, former Coordinator for Counterterrorism in the State Department, and Mr. Philip uh, Zelico, former State uh, Department Advisor. It is also a great privilege to have among us Lord uh, Paddy Ashdown, former um, High Representative of the European Union in Bosnia. And indeed, Mrs. President, we are delighted to have the pleasure of your presence once again in this House, representing at the highest level the National Council resistance of Iran. Uh, as you all know, uh, we have given great attention to the protection of Ashraf residents since the first attack they suffered in July 2009. In fact, we have considered uh, this issue a pivotal duty, and we have promoted several initiatives in past years. Mm. I want to mention our resolution in 2009 and our written declaration last year and also several specific points included in other resolutions on Iran. I do not exaggerate if I say that we have devoted a lot of effort to make of Ashraf a priority in the uh, foreign and human rights policy of the European Union. It has been a long and difficult struggle, but I can state at this stage that we start to see the first results. Better late than never. In the last plenary session in Strasbourg, Baroness Ashton referred widely to Ashraf in her opening speech, and Ashraf was also one of the points of discussion in the Council of Ministers two days ago. But we fight against time on the intentions of Prime Minister Maliki, let me only remember you that the delegation of this parliament that visited Iraq end of last April, chaired by Struan Stevenson, was not allowed to visit the camp in spite of the reiterated, reiterated requests by, by Struan. We didn't get the authorization to visit the camp from the uh, Iraqi government. At present, a very crucial development has taken place that must concentrate all our work from now on. I am speaking of the proposal presented officially and publicly by our delegation for relations with Iraq that is gaining wide support in this parliament 